Hi, in today's video we will talk about how to create a simple heat map like this. Heat maps are quite useful when you have two categorical variables. For example, in this case we have the cut on the x-axis and then we have the color on the y-axis and we just want to see which is the most abundant um, pair. So in this case we can clearly see that this area, the ideal cut and the color G is the most available diamond in this case. And on the other side, we have this one, which is very rare. So let's let's get it working. All we need is uh, two packages, deployer for managing the data and ggplot2 for creating the plots. And we also use the data which comes with uh, ggplot as well. And the data set is called diamonds. If you don't have the ggplot loaded, it won't work. So you have to load the ggplot first. So I'm going to use this little command to create our data. So we are just grouping the data by the cut and the color from the diamond data set and then telling it or creating an, um, the count or the frequency. And if you look at the small or SML table we, we created, we have cut and the color. So, and then we have the quantity or N. And those of you who like SQL, you can use this library SQL DF. And then similarly, you can write a SQL command saying select cut color and then count and calling that count star as N from diamonds and grouping it by the cut and grouping it by the color. So that also gives you exactly the same result. We have another video which talks about SQL DF in detail. You can have a look at that as well. So let's get started and create our first chart. So the first chart is quite simple. We have, uh, and remember we said we have two categorical variables, cut and the color, and then we are filling it by the quantity or the frequency. So all it is doing is creating the tiles using the geom tile option. So creating the plot. We have a, a plot which is quite basic but still gives you everything. We can clearly see that this is the scale and then this is the most frequent item, G and idle. So let's customize this chart a bit further by adding some more information in that. And I'm going to use a few options in there. So the first two lines are the same. I'm going to use the theme minimal. It's a built-in theme. Then I'm going to use a scale fill gradient starting with the low color of white. And as the quantity increases, it will turn to blue. And then we have the, the title, which comes at the top. And then we have the X and the Y labels. So instead of just the cut and the color, I'm giving it a proper name. And then the subtitle, which appears below the title is this. And then finally, we want to put some information about number of records in there or N equals um, I'm just saying the sum of the of the file which we created up there. Just just sum the numbers there, and then I'm using pretty num to just give a proper comma to to make it look pretty. So if I run this chart, you would know what I'm talking about. So here's the chart. It is doing what it's supposed to do. We have the, the labels here, cut of diamonds, uh, color of diamonds, and the number is coming from this caption, and the pretty num is responsible for giving you this properly formatted number. And then we have the, the title and the subtitle there as well. If you want to use a different library for filling up the colors, you can use Veradius library, and all you need to do is, instead of using the scale fill gradient, I'm calling it scale fill Veradius and then discrete equals false because we're talking about numbers. So just give that discrete equals false. Let's let's run the whole block of the code together. Here we go. So this is the Viridius color options. Now, if you wanted to add some more information in this, for example, if you want to change the caption or the label on the legend, so I'm going to use two commands here. 
One is the guides command telling it that the title which we want for the fill is this. And I want the legend to be positioned at the top. So let me run the whole code together. So you can see that we have the legend at the top and then thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.